Welcome to spreadsheet lab number two. In this lab, we're going to use a couple points to find an e the slope and equation of a line and use that line to calculate some x and y values. So as usual in these labs, the green places, the green cells are places for you to enter numbers. So here's a couple, a couple points that have been entered. And the yellow spaces are where you have to put spreadsheet equations. And if you remember from the last lab, every spreadsheet equation starts with an equal sign. So I'll type in equals. I think you know how to calculate the rise. It's the change in X and Y's. So you can calculate the difference between this number and that number. And once again, don't type in the numbers because you want to make it so that whatever we put in these cells will be used to calculate the rise. So I'll type in, I'll click on this cell, C5, type a minus sign, and click on this cell. So I'm taking whatever's in C5, subtracting whatever's in C4. And that's two minus negative three is five, yay! Um, in this case, it's suggesting that we use the same equation here, but it's not gonna work because we now have to use the x values here. And you know what, I'm not even going to show you that one. You can, you can figure out how to find the run. And then calculate the slope. And once again, just make sure you have an equal sign in there. But I think you'll know what to do to calculate slope given the rise and run. The next section just reminds you of what the point slope equation of a line looks like. And that's, that hint will help you solve the next part. Now, if we're supposed to, if we're given a new x value and you want to calculate the corresponding y value, you can use the equation of the line to do that. Think about what you'd do if you stick it in a calculator. What would you do with the 7? Well, that's an x value, so you put in for x. Subtract x1, take that, multiply it by the slope, and add y1. So we're going to do that here, and I'll type in an equal sign again to start with. And actually, let's just do it in the same order we see it here. Let's start with the slope. Uh, where is the slope? Well, the slope is whatever number you have entered here. Now, in this case, I didn't finish the problem. So this is blank, but I'm still going to show you what it will look like. When you do that, by the time you do this, you'll have an actual number in the slope. So whatever is going to be in cell B9, we're going to have to multiply that. Now, by the way, you can't just type in the parentheses. You have to say times parentheses, and that's an asterisk. Okay, so that's a slope times. Now we need the x value. Now this is where we'd end up putting the 7. So we need to click here. Whatever's there is the x value minus. Now what are we going to use for x sub, x sub 1? And in this case, We'll just use this value from the point 1. So this is what we do in the calculator. Take 7 minus 4. We'll close the parentheses. And now we're up to the point where we have to add y sub 1. So we take plus y sub 1. So this is the equation. The slope times our x value minus x sub 1 plus, and then parentheses, plus y sub 1. And so that calculates it. Now, now this is not going to be what you get when you do the problem. When you do the problem, you'll have an actual slope here. Right now, since it's empty, it's thinking that the slope is zero. But um, the last part is something which is a bit trickier. Because if you're given a y value, how would you find the x value? So in this case, this will take a little bit of thinking. And what I suggest doing is doing it once or twice on a piece of paper, just to make sure you understand what the steps are to do it, and then reproduce those steps here. Like if you had 12 for y, what would be the first step you do to try to solve for x? Well, you'd probably subtract y1 from both sides. So you'll take the 12 minus, sorry, the y, the the 12, which is the y value, minus the y1. That'd be the first step. But a hint for you, don't forget about PEMDAS and use parentheses where they're appropriate. 
give it a shot. If you get stuck, you can always look at the solution video.